Hello everybody. Um, I've just discovered this Jashaka 3 today. So I've been having a quick look at it. And I thought for beginners who want to animate, who are not really getting into Blender because it can be a bit complicated, you might want to try this out and see what you can do with it. So it just, it's just a heads up to let you see what it's about. So you can actually download version 3, which is a beta version. Uh, I tried downloading Jashaka 2, but it seems like a completely different piece of software and it wouldn't run anyway. There are some worlds where it says worlds you can download and play with. So there looks like there's some useful little worlds there, but I don't know how you download them. You click on it. And how do you download that? Anybody got any ideas? So if somebody can tell me how you download that, that would be great. Because it would be great to get some of these material assets here. So, let's go into Jashark. I've downloaded the program. Because it's not a well used program, you may find that Norton, if you've got Norton, it says, sorry, you can't download this. I do have a, a video on my YouTube channel which basically says this is how you can download something that Norton won't let you do. Um, basically, you're going to go into your settings and you're, you're going to um, disable the intelligent uh, checker. So let's go into Shark and see what we get. Okay, well we have a sky and a land so if I want to go to the ground we could maybe turn that into grass and the sky boxes are down here on the right if you if you want to get rid of these you get rid of that to get it back if you right click up here you'll see that the presets have been taken out so I'll put them back in my presets come back in So let's go to the skybox and let's, what should we have, that, that, let's have a look at that one. If I right click on my mouse I can basically rotate around and if I use the mouse wheel I can zoom in or out. So let's add a primitive Let's add a sphere. Okay, we can change the color on that if we want. Or we could actually go down to the materials and perhaps put some bricks on it. So over here on the right, you can see all these different things that you can change. You can actually move this where you want. You just drag uh, that one, take you up or down. Oop. Take it further back a bit. Now, to animate it, I'm going to click on the timeline. And down here, I want to insert a frame. Now, I'd normally insert the location, rotation, and scale but it doesn't seem to do anything on the timeline. If I click on that, there's nothing. So the best way to do it is do it one at a time, scale, you know, see so it gives me a scale, rotation, and a location. I'll just move, move the timeline off there. Now, if I take this over here somewhere, let's take it along here, and I'll move the timeline oops, to there. Let's try that again. And I insert the frame, scale, rotation, location. Now, if I take it back to here, you can see that when I play it, 
it now starts to move my animation. So it's very simple to do, do animations, but it's a little bit quirky, and I'll just show you a couple of them. I'm going to stop that animation there. If, for example, um, you can also down here do models. But if I bring in a, I'll double click on Taurus. And what I can do, texture. If I go to assets, texture, I can maybe do that as the texture. In fact, I'll do it on the, that's the reflection. Let's do it on the diffuse. That's better. And we can improve the shininess of it if we want. So let's try and load a different reflection, see what happens. Well, uh, not a lot there, is there? Reflection influence. Ah, okay. So, this time I'm going to click on this, this asset, I'm going to move a timeline down here, and I'm going to insert a frame location, rotation, and scale. And I'll move the timeline to here. I'll move this on there and just take it over there somewhere and I'll insert location, rotation and scale and if I just if I just drag that over here so I'm currently on the torus so when I play it you see nothing is happening to this, it's only happening to the torus. If I stick on the sphere, it now shows me the sphere. So if I want to see all animations at the same time, I'll stop that. I'll click up here on world. I'll tell you that at the beginning. And let's just play it and see what happens. We should get both animations going. There we go. And obviously we have the light, which we can change the colour. Change that to red. Change intensity and distance. Get the world, take it back. See if anything happens. Ah, that's interesting. So the light is reflecting on there. So it's really, really very simple. I'm not sure what, what you can get too much out of it. If we go to models, Oh, we, let me just show you the particle system. That's great. You can change that to what you want. All these effects. And I presume you'll be able to change the colour, make some flames, that sort of thing, if you want. I'll just get rid of that for now. Load a model. There's a dragon there. So let's bring this down. And we'll give him some material. Um, 
let's just take this back. Let's see if we get all three to move. So I'll insert. Move this over here. <laughs> so let's move that first. Just leave that up there. And again I'll insert location, rotation, scale. Click on the world, take the timeline back, and we'll play it and see what we've got now. Got some fog. So there's different different things you can play around with. Fog color. Let's go for hello. So just experiment and see what you get. Do have more, more things. Models, head. Oops. This is in Jishaka. Let's go for content. So I'm presuming that if you want to add things, you'd only you'd put them into these relevant folders. So for example, if I want to go to the particle system, and if I wanted to take that Let's say I want to use that as the image instead on the particle system. Now when I play it, when I try to play it, So my timeline seems to do oh, there it is. Let's go back. Let's see what we get now. Well, it doesn't seem to be doing a lot, so I think maybe I've, I've thrown too much at it. Uh, it is in development, but it may be something you can play with. It may be a bit easier in Blender. Um, I'm still working with it and finding out what I can do with it. You've got options up here. If I was to click on that, you can rotate it. That there, if I leave my cursor on there, it should tell me what it does. Ah, it's a scale. So do play with it, see what you get, and I hope you found that of use. Thank you. Thanks for watching.